after the pandemic or going through all of that, I think calling myself a scientist came with a new meaning. It's not just about the work you're doing, but it's about why you're doing that specific work. You're doing it to advance the field. And as a future physician, we practice evidence-based medicine. That is so important, whatever field you're in. That is kind of the core of what I'm doing now. And it was a new perspective as to why are you doing this research? I'm very thankful to be part of it. I think something that I have always dreamt about is just being able to be at a point in my career where I have been trained enough and you know skilled enough to be able to inspire the next generation of, of people who are going into this field. So I, I'm a big fan of always um, giving back and just mentoring those who want to follow in similar footsteps. So whether that is working with students in the future, I'm highly considering that because I do love to teach. I love to interact with people and I really see myself doing that in the future. So that's something I'm really looking forward to is just being in a place where not, or I can not only just be practicing as a physician, but also training students who are going in that same path. So where I'm from, it's a very medically underserved community. And there was a huge need for physicians. And I always admired those that gave back their time for others. And I always knew that that's something that I will be doing in the future. So I think that's what I'm most looking forward to in addition to mentoring future students. I think mentorship is also just really, really important to me, especially as a minority. I mean, I, I go through tough times on the daily, like <laughs> I'm sure uh, Ayana can relate, but graduate school is hard. I mean, it's it's really, really hard. Um, but I think what really puts it into perspective is really looking back and thinking, I mean, two years ago, I really dreamed of being where I am now. And so how fortunate am I to even be here, right? And build your network and build your network, your support system, um, because that's that's really, really important. <laughs> um, yeah, and as much as my career is important, I think also just like my general well-being is really, really important. And that's something that I've really discovered in graduate school. Um, to, so I would t tell myself to take care of myself, um, keep working hard. I was feeling down about, you know, the certain obstacles that you have to face to get to what you want to do. And at those moments, I would just want to go back and tell myself that just you have to keep being persistent and you have to not give up for what you want because, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, if you really want something, you will get it. Just do whatever it takes to get there, you know, but you ethically do whatever it takes to get there. <laughs> um, but yeah, just keeping persistent and keeping resilient. So that's like the first thing I, that I think of. Um, but the other thing is uh, just realizing that imposter syndrome is a very real thing at all different points in life. And you just have to acknowledge it and recognize when you're feeling down in that way, but really find support through your family and your friends and really be there when others need you and know who will be there when you need others. You know, just like a whole support system, it goes both ways. And in any moment of self-doubt, I always, always think back to what my mom and a lot of my family members tell me, and that is si se puede, which in Spanish means you can do it, you know, just stick to it. And I would always tell myself that if I'm feeling uh, self-doubt. I think this has probably been one of the best things I've ever done. So I'm really thankful to be part of it. So thank you. I said it's such a rewarding experience to be able to look back and reflect on how far we've come. And I'm sure in the future, we're going to look back again and we're going to think, wow, like this, this second uh, interview is going to be what we're looking back on as well. So um thank you so much for creating this initiative and i think it's great it's a great movement and um thank you for allowing us to be a part of it